This week, we have a new sponsor. We are now uh, proudly sponsored by Ronald Entrepot. Yes, sir. Is it Ronald Entrepot? Yeah, yes. Ronald Entrepot. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, they saw we were always in their store uh, to buy materials for Vanessa and now Vanessa and Vanessa. So uh, they called us and they said, hey, you want to be sponsored? And we said, hell yeah! <laughs> Woo! Are you excited? So excited. I'm excited. Okay, bye. <laughs> Last week, we asked you what you wanted to see on our channel and the results are in. Marie is wonderful. Marie is wonderful. Marie is wonderful. Marie is wonderful. Yeah, because she asked you to say that. Marie is wonderful. You ask them to say that. Okay. Intro's too long. You okay. should shorten the intro. Yeah. Cut the intro. Intro's too long. Yeah, okay. Dom, okay. you need to cut your man bun. Okay. <laughs> intro's getting kind of boring. The intro's too short. No, the intro's too long. Shorten the intro. Cut the intro. So here's the new intro. <laughs> and she throws her phone on the table. Hi, we're Dom and Marie. We are building our second van. And we have the shortest intro on YouTube. Hello, Boo Boo. Hello, Daniel. Salut. How's it going? How's it going? What are you doing? <laughs> Delivery. Bow. Oh, there you go. Is that your father? Delivery. <laughs> oh! Delivery. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's the cooktop. It's da -da 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 -da. the cooktop. Delivery! Uh, meeting! Okay, <laughs> brief! Today, sand, ceiling, slats. Stain them, cut the plywood, paint it black. Let it dry. Final measures of the slats. Final measures of the slots. Fabricate the spacers in between the slots. Assemble, 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 assemble. Maybe while I can stain, you can. Are you playing? Oh, continue, Marie. Are you playing tic tac toe? Oh my god. What is this? I have the tan. Shit stain. Little bug. Step one for the ceiling. Sand and prepare the slats. Step two, sand and prepare the ply. What is the motto you should always follow? Measure. Measure twice, cut once. Swear three times. Swear thrice. I just realized I forgot to put a bra this morning. Done. Uh, Sanding the slats, done. Cutting the ply. Now we're up to stain the slats and paint the back. We asked you which color we should choose for the ceiling. The ceiling being the first thing you see when you enter the van and when you're in the van and when you're sleeping in bed and you're looking up to your ceiling. So you want it nice. We had A, B, C, kids diarrhea, E. <laughs> yeah, we had honey in there somewhere. And we decided to go with something that was very, very light, as many of you recommended. If we tend to go very dark in the van, especially mm -hmm. with the passenger seat in the back that is dark. So most of the people chose the color we had in mind, which yeah, is which, antique. Yeah, we were hesitating between either B antique or I believe it was E or F honey that were very, very light. Yeah. And we decided to go with antique. Uh, your father was in charge of staining everything. My dad stained everything. He spent like a couple of hours yeah. just staining those slats. By himself, yeah. washing the slats as a meditation process. Yeah. <laughs> Never got no 
And while Daniel is staining the slats, Marie and I will show you what happens when my brother and I find a GoPro in the oh, basement. Oh gosh. <laughs> Here is Dominique Fauché with my brother Thierry Fauché. And today we are free ride in the neighborhood. Free ride. Free ride. Time for a jump. Time to do some jump like in 1995. What you gonna do, brother? Uh, just your good old 180 track to track. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Free ride. Okay, my, <laughs> my turn. I never tell her, but I put it in the world. Well, that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my home. Dope. The next trick is called the leap of faith. We're gonna jump that cliff and we're gonna try to fall on our feet, brother. Come on, bro! We can be friends if you wanna. Whoa! Oh, oh. Free ride! Free ride. Get on hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. Oh, that was a leap of faith! Free ride. What's your next trick, bro? Alright, so the next trick is your good old one man backcountry trail. Oh shit. The idea is to become one with the forest. Go! Go! Tell me what happened here. What's that artwork in the snow? <laughs> what happened? Well, you don't, you, don't, you don't just find trails like this any place when you're born free rider trails like this yeah they find you it's the day after and we're prepping the ceiling final touches before we put it up so we're assembling so we're assembling and i have to talk like this because my eyes are burning man away we're about to start this thing we're gonna line up a bunch of uh wood planks that are right there and the first part is to line up the first slat that you're going to put on the ceiling and the important part is to be a very straight line for the first one because every other slat or every other piece of wood that you're going to put to it is going to be lined up exactly the same way as your center slat so a very important step once that is done it's a go so right now the dads are assembling the ceiling and the way it works is one needs to put downwards pressure and pressure towards the middle, towards the first slot. And the other one is nail gunning from under to make sure it is tight. That ceiling we are working on is very technical and I know we did a video about the ceiling a few months ago mm -hmm. but I realized there was some details missing on how to manage the slats. <laughs> All right. We decided to create something very special to give you more advice on very precise installation things and it is... We are now calling it the... Rona Minute! She hates it when we say things I hate together. it, I hate it, I hate it. I find it so tacky. You start yourself with a reference line, preferably the center or the side. Okay. Slats are gonna be glued and nailed. Okay. To make sure that the right spacing, we're gonna use spacers that you build before you start. Okay. Spacers, the more the better, that you're gonna lean along your first reference line. Once they're in place, put your second slat in with the glue already ready. Clamp it, both ends. You need good clamps because you need to bend the, the, the board or the slat back into place sometimes. And then once they're all solidly in place, and if you need to, someone is going to hold it and then start nailing all, all the way along. So you clamp both tips because you want to push the plank in place, right? You push it in place or you're going to bend it in place. So oh, your clamps why. are going to help doing that and you're going to bend it on to lean on your space. So any words of wisdom for that project, papa? Don't let the slats drive you. Drive the slats where you want them to go. That way your ceilings is going to be great looking. The 
links to the tools that we use to complete the ceiling are available in the description below. Mm -hmm. And Dom and his friends rendered the, the plans for the ceiling and it is now available in the description below as well. So if you want to replicate our ceiling, go for it. The guys are starting to cut the ceiling. Ah, papa? They have to cut the fan and the holes for all the puck lights. However, Marie's not here today and the light decisions are very important. So I'm gonna have to call her or else I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, I was wondering, baby, um, how many lights do we put on the ceiling? <laughs> Four or five? Um, yeah, uh, it's a bit more <coughs> complicated than that. I'm going to show you what's going on, okay? There are different ways to organize your lighting on the ceiling of your van. The first reflex that people have is to align the lighting with pieces of furniture on, uh, in the van, which is totally fine and natural. However, when Marie showed up and talked to my dad, they came up with the solution. You need to distribute your lighting evenly yeah. throughout your ceiling. Otherwise, it's gonna look... Asymmetrical? Otherwise, it's gonna look weird when the lighting goes on because it's, it's, you're gonna feel like the lights are like uh, not too, too, well. Too wide apart, too yeah, spread apart. Too spread apart. Yeah. So before you showed up, I was like, okay, we're gonna put six lights. And then you were like, can we try once, uh, one light in the front, mm -hmm. three at the back, and then. And four was just not enough. It, yeah, it was looking kind of weird. Yeah. So at one point, my father was like, I think you just have to distribute them equally throughout the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And this made us uh, decide on the lighting setup. You put it at the same distance in a straight line probably looks better than that way, that way, that yeah, way, no, that way. they have to be at the same distance I'm the cleaner so three two one three. on my uh, on my cue this is the rhythm of the night Oh, night. Oh, yeah. yeah. So deciding on where to put the lights was a nightmare, but we <laughs> did it in what, like an hour and a half? Yeah, and we yeah. almost fought about it. <laughs> Didn't we do? Now, Dom likes it when everything is very symmetrical, so he really wanted the lights to be at the same distance between each other and not too many, not too little, and it was just, and I think it's gonna look beautiful with the lights yeah. that are gonna be under the cabinets as well. Yep, a little trick for your ceiling, distribute your lights evenly on the surface of your ceiling. And call your girlfriend when you need help. And call your girlfriend <laughs> when you need help. <laughs> My dad is leaving. Going back home. He's going to a country far, far away. So next step is uh, putting it up. Putting it up, putting it down, shake it all around. Hey, the dads, it was nice seeing you, Danielle. It was nice being seen, actually. Yes. <laughs> what? Hey, hey papa. Master Sylvain. <laughs> Sylvain, if you need help, you give me a call. Right? Can I call now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See Thank you guys you. soon. Give me a call. Let me know. Love you. Okay, love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Um, the roof or the ceiling, the finished ceiling is going to start from here in the right position, ready to slide in. We're just gonna slide it in. The ledge at the front end, to slide it in there, hold it, and then we, we can start pushing our poles in place so that we can squeeze it up. Our little protectors so that we're not gonna screw up your ceiling. Poof. So that's what we're gonna do. Ready? Let's go. Let's wait for mom, because mom is gonna film. Oh boy, that's gonna be pretty. <laughs> Are you ready to be a videographer today? Yes! Yes? Yes! What are the? J'ai amené mon foulard. Oh, oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Quoi d'autre que t'as amené? Mon chien, mon assistant. T'as amené ton assistant. Ici, Ramzi. Hey, hello, baby. Oui. Comment ça va? Il va me dire quand ça va être assez. Um, let's go. Let's go? Let's go. Vous emmenez par ici? Ok. Il est-tu pesant, mes amis? What did you forget? Uh, we usually put some vapor barrier behind the ceiling just to avoid this wood surface to deal with uh, moisture. So 
we allow the plastic to take care of it, but uh, we were about to forget it. This morning, oh yes I did, yes you all, I came on this morning, I had past three, that was a journey where I supposed to be, I stuck my key in the door, and it jumped back in my hand, I stood there. See, see what it does right now? Yeah. We don't want it to do that no. while we're driving, so we're building a forest. Are you building a forest? Building a forest. Now that the forest is done, fixing to the frame, I'm gonna be mobile with this adjustable pole and I'm just gonna screw the brains out of this thing. We would like to thank you for being so generous and so honest in your comments last week when we asked you about what we needed to do to improve our channel. Thanks to you, we have already modified the intro. <laughs> And now now I'm, I'm gonna make a good one next week. Yeah, so, yeah. And, but now we just have a better of your understanding of what you guys want. I'm just trying to find a good balance between information and entertainment. So yeah. that is something that we will keep on doing. Have a nice week, stay safe, and eat your Pop Tarts. Uh, Pop Tarts is, uh, yeah, I like that. Last week was eat your veggies, now eat your Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. <laughs> bye bye. French lesson number 45. Il fait froid dehors. It is cold outside. Now, this is a very Easy sentence. Uh, il is for it. Fait is for is. Froid is for cold. And dehors is for outside. However, there's something very funny in Canadian French because froid means cold. But we invented a word to mean super cold because it's always very cold in here. And that word is fret, which means very cold. So you could also say Il fait fret dehors, which would mean it is very cold outside. And when we say very cold, it is very cold when it's fret. So, il fait fret dehors. It is very cold outside. <laughs>